a step of a nation from dreams to pride. Bilateral relations of Government of Republic of Rwanda and Government of Republic of India. Perseverance of Rwanda Ministry of Infrastructure to construct hydropower project with consortium of reputed Indian companies, Angelique International Limited and Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. Trashaka Shirin Berero Chane, who called the Bishop of Cabio, say, Jerangu Yogo, Chibone, Amashanera Zahaji, Mashanera Z, Avan Hosho, Kore Shamongo, Zabo, Mashanera Z, Ajara Mashuri, Maburiro, Aho do Korea Twese. Namashanyarazi, Chane Chane, Ashobara, Bukoresh Kamunganda, Inganda, Arizot Kwana Shinjara, who is a chin in the Jamuju, which are to detain him. The Neverongo hydroelectric project involved construction of concrete gravity dam located at the starting of loop of Neverongo River. Intake structure at the right bank of the river, 1.2 kilometers long head race tunnel. Surge shaft and a surface powerhouse for the generation of 28 megawatt of power. I'm here today uh, to be present at the inaugural of the Nyabrango Hydro Power Project, which was inaugurated by the Honorable President, His Excellency uh, Paul Kagame. Um, that he chose to inaugurate it at his level was a political signal to India that he values you know, economic and commercial cooperation with India and he wants India's participation in the economic and social development uh, of uh, Rwanda. Angel Lake International Limited involved in the civil works comprise of diversion tunnel dam and intake structure, head race tunnel, surge shaft, powerhouse, tail race and 110 kV transmission line. Our major role was in the construction of the project, that is the civil construction. So all the civil works, whether it was powerhouse, dam, or say the tunnel, or say the search shaft, all was done by us. And also the transmission line, uh, which is there from say Nyamrongo to Kalinda substation was done by us. And also the uh, switch yard and the Kalinda substation, uh, you know, expansion was also done by us. So this was the major role in the project. Bharat Heavy Electrical Limited involved in the making of hydro-mechanical and electro-mechanical works. There was a aggradation of the river by, by about two meters. And uh, then it has to be redesigned uh, altogether because the report, the detailed project report which was there and actually what we find was slightly different. So due to that, initially there were some challenges how to get 28 megawatt because with that 2 meters aggregation, it was coming only 26 megawatt. But again, the design was changed, the dam height was slightly increased, the turbine and uh, generator designs were changed to suit it. And uh, we designed it so that they can get 28 megawatt, which was uh, the actual requirement. All resources like machinery, skilled manpower and materials except cement and fuel were mobilized from India. Uh, our philosophy uh, of doing business is different. Our philosophy of conducting our foreign policy is different. Our philosophy of treating people from various continents, irrespective of whether it's Latin America, whether it's Africa, whether it's South uh, 
you know, Southeast Asia or, uh, you know, the Europe and the Americas. We do not have different policy parameters for different sets of nations. We um, essentially believe in the equality of all nations and the right for all nations to e coexist peacefully and, you know, uh, in a spirit of cooperation and friendship. During the peak stage, hundreds of local manpower was engaged and most of unskilled manpower turned to skilled resources by the end of the project. Medical facilities were provided for the huge manpower involved and the services were extended to local population at free of cost for social cause. Challenges like land acquisitions for access roads, corridor for transmission lines and Kilinda substation were addressed in time successfully by government of Rwanda authorities. The biggest challenge which we faced in this project was the land allocation to us, the site land allocation, which was given in uh, bits and pieces and uh, which actually made the project uh, prolonged for five and a half years. Actually, this project should have been closed in uh, four years. So I would say that uh, even though it was challenging, but uh, we as an EPC contractor and working in 25 countries in Africa, uh, we know how the challenges are being met and we were able to do that and come out of it. And as you know, today we stand with a successful project uh, delivered to the government of Rwanda to their full satisfaction. The challenges due to river aggradation invited changes in design to generate 28 megawatts and was addressed jointly by government of Rwanda and consortium in time. Ndira ngushimire cyane cyane ni gihugu ntararangiza cy'ubuhinde. Ubu cy'ubuhinde India twarafatanyije baduteye inkunga ari mu gushyiraho uru Rwanda ari no gufatanye bwo kugira ngo amafaranga aboneke yo kurwubaka ufatanye nk'ubwo rero inshuti nkizo nabyo nyene tubadukuye kuzishimira kandi tugahera ko twubakira ho kubyo batugezaho nyene ntihagire cyangirika on completion of dam construction the upstream side of dam allowed to build up reservoir by closing diversion tunnel At full reservoir level, the reservoir holds around 36 million cubic meters of water and spread over 22 kilometers along the river stream on upstream of dam. The water conductor system through head raised tunnel charged in phased manner to allow the machines to run. If you take away the two years taken for allocation of the land for the project, the project was completed in three years and the president is being very realistic. And I was told, I'm not a technical expert, I'm being told the amount of time and effort which goes into a 28 megawatt plant is identical to the amount of time and effort that goes into a 120 megawatt plant. What are the concerns? What are the you know areas where you have to be careful uh, and monitor more closely? I think uh, from Nabarunga one, um, important lessons have been learned, I think. As planned and committed, both units were then synchronized with the grid before the target date of October 31st, 2014. The plant achieved its rated capacity, that is 28 megawatts, when reservoir level reached FRL, that is EL. 1,499 meters. The power evacuated through 27 kilometers. 
110 kV transmission line to Kilinda substation. This great achievement will lead to industrial revolution, increased educational job opportunities and thus a socio-economic boom. Yes, Navrango Hydroelectric Project stands as a hope to the people, a pride of the nation and a national asset of Rwanda.